Alright guys, welcome back. As you guys can see, we have the CZ Scorpion out here tonight, and I really want to talk about this HP Industries handguard. For me personally, the quad rail type handguard that comes on the CZ Scorpion from the factory really never bothered me. I mean, it was something that I always felt could be improved upon, but it really was never that big of a deal. Now this handguard does have a lot of pros in my opinion. There are also a couple cons, but I would say the pros far outweigh the cons. First things first, this is an M-Lock system, so we have upgraded from the normal Picatinny style rail to an M-Lock rail. And what makes it nice with the Scorpion is it is far more ergonomic than it ever was with that quad rail. Um, as you guys can see, it is just nice, clean, and sleek. And if you do want to throw something such as a light on here or a QD socket for a sling, you can order these little tiny rail sections. I got this one off of eBay. It is anodized. It is good quality. I think I paid like eight bucks shipped. HP Industries decided to make this out of 6061 aluminum. So honestly, it's quite thick, but because it's aluminum, it's a very, very lightweight rail. HP Industries does offer to sell this handguard as just the shroud. Now they primarily do that due to the fact that, say like right now, I bought the whole entire system, okay? So I have the mounting system, the rail, down the road I want to go to a K conversion, you know, a shorter handguard. I could just buy the shroud for the K instead of buying the whole system. Now if you're going to buy this system, you know, new to replace your factory handguard, you do need to buy the complete kit. So you're going to get the actual shroud on the outside here. Then on the inside we have a little pretty much square lug, okay, it's going to sit on top of your barrel lug and it has four screws on each side that are going to mount into that. Overall installation was very easy, getting the old handguard off was no issue at all. You will need to pick up a barrel nut wrench from HP Industries, um, they're very very inexpensive, no big deal, but you will need it to get your old handguard off. Now let's talk about a few cons, and I do want to say that both of these things really aren't a big deal. I just wanted to address them with you guys. The first thing would be, now that we upgraded from a polymer handguard to an aluminum handguard, this thing's obviously going to get a little bit hotter than that polymer handguard did. I've ran 90 rounds in a row, had no issue with it. I, I personally don't go out to the range and run um, five or 600 rounds through this thing, just you know, all in a row. I'm sure most of you guys don't do that either. So that's something that's really not too big a deal. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the charging handle. Now if you upgrade to the HP Industries rail and you have an upgraded charging handle such as like an HP Industries Theta, something like that, basically an aluminum charging handle, you will more than likely have to go with a polymer charging handle or at least go back to your factory charging handle due to the fact that it will rub on the aluminum. So you're basically going to get aluminum on aluminum. It's not going to want to charge very, very easily. So I just went ahead, put this polymer charging handle on there so I didn't have any issues. I have talked to the guys over at HB Industries and they say it doesn't happen with every one of them. I don't know what that's due to or what the difference would be, but I would go ahead and recommend keeping your factory charging handle on. Now HB Industries makes these rails in a few different lengths. They do make a rail for the micro K conversion barrels. Um, very, very short rail. I'm personally not into that. I do think it looks cool, but I really wouldn't want to do that to this gun. They also make this mid-length here, which is like a 6.84. This rail is going to be for your pistol type CZ Scorpions. And then they also make a full carbine length rail. Now what's cool about these is these are made wide enough to fit a suppressor in there. Maybe that's something I would do down the road, and I have seen where guys suppress these. And then the carbine length rail fits over the suppressor, leaving just a little bit hanging out. I know like Tim from Military Arms Channel has done that and it looks sweet. I think we've pretty much covered everything. I do want to mention these are Type 3 hard anodized. I have thrown it around a little bit, you know, going to and from the range, um, getting thrown in the safe, things like that, and I haven't noticed any wear marks so far. Now with that being said, I want to give the guys over at HB Industries a huge thank you for sending this rail out. I did the review on the P10C trigger, and after that they are like, man, if you want to review anything else, let us know. And I was like, I definitely got to check out their CZ Scorpion handguard. If you guys are interested in this handguard, I will leave a link below. Definitely check out HB Industries if you haven't seen like their triggers for the Scorpion, their charging handles, they're making some really cool stuff for the CZ Scorpion. I'll also leave a link below on the HP Industries Theta Trigger review I did on my CZ P10C. It is also a great trigger and takes the CZ P10C to a whole nother level. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all your support. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.